When herbicides and pesticides are sprayed year after year, bugs and weeds gradually become resistant to the products. Farmers who once relied heavily on these chemical concoctions are looking for alternatives since they aren't working anymore. Experts say chemical showers have taken a toll on the soil too. The catch is, can it still provide the level of service we require of it? And that's, that's one of the bigger questions that somebody else is going to have to deal with. Andrew Manns grows flowers in and around where his vegetables grow to increase soil diversity. He is committed to an organic way of farming and is certified by a governing body. Manns admits doing things this way is more work. It's been an incredible learning curve, yeah. So is organic agriculture the way to go? If there was only one best car, we'd all be driving the same thing. I guess, do you understand the argument like against genetic modification? No, I don't. I understand uh, the emotional response. Uh, I understand very often the response is a trendy, right? So it was very trendy to, uh, uh, to blame transgenesis, uh, or blame global warming, or blame Trump, or what, what else. So just people very often do trendy things. And the trend is on the rise. Between 2016 and 2017, the Canadian organic market saw a 10% increase in demand, and 5,400 certified organic operations are now in Canada, taking up nearly 2 million acres of farmland. So, Canada believes GMOs are safe, but consumers still choose to buy organic foods. In my research, one word came up lots. Glyphosate. It's the most widely used chemical in conventional agriculture. And when people choose to buy organic products in Canada, they're assured that their plate hasn't been sprayed with it. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup product. Monsanto also sells seeds developed to withstand Roundup. The fact that Monsanto sells both the seeds and Roundup starts to smell bad to people as well. The Netherlands, Russia and Mexico are among a growing number of countries who have banned glyphosate. The province of Ontario has made it illegal in home and recreation contexts, but it's still allowed on the plants that create your lunch. In 2017, Canada re-evaluated the regulations around glyphosate and concluded it's still safe. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency's examinations are based on data from the companies that sell glyphosate. I, I think if you go online and you want to find out how many negative comments there are about Monsanto's uh, work in genetically modified products, seeds, etc. Um, you could spend days, weeks, months. All of the big ag companies, they're, they're all controlling most of the market. So if you look at market concentration, it is ridiculous in every single part of the food system. And it's only becoming worse, it's only intensifying. And so that market power means that these farmers and these consumers don't have a choice. So if you look at uh, farm gate prices, which is the price that a farmer gets selling their, their product, they have steadily decreased. They are lower today than they were in the Great Depression. That's insane. This is the huge debate around GMOs is, is tainted by everybody that hates Monsanto. Right, so it's like this, this target of, of the, that's the bad guys. Throughout World War II, Monsanto partnered with the U.S. military to develop bomb initiators to drop in Japan. After the war, Monsanto debuted their pesticide business with dichlorodiphenyl trichlorothane. DDT was later banned after it destroyed Vietnam's agriculture and caused millions of Vietnamese children to be born with deformities. Monsanto became the first company to successfully genetically modify a plant cell with glyphosate. But this company will soon vanish as we know it, as they've just been acquired by Bayer for an estimated $66 billion. Upon three requests, Monsanto was unresponsive to an invitation to be interviewed for this story. So what's the big deal with Roundup? The concoction is still deemed safe for farmers to use, while others have found that the small amounts are adding up. Glyphosate uh, preferentially kills certain microbes, particularly bifidobacteria, which are very, very important for gut health. So what happens when you're chronically exposed, and it's all over the food supply, is that your gut gets imbalanced and you have an overgrowth of pathogens because the bifidobacteria are being knocked down. And that's what we're seeing, and in fact, many papers have been written linking low bifidobacteria and high clostridia species to autism. Many papers on both of those, both low bifidobacteria and high clostridia, linked to autism. 